we all know Tesla is selling cars, but cars were not mentioned during the first opening parts of this uh, presentation. It was all about Optimus. You know, Elon's dancing with Optimus. Uh, he's talking about Optimus. So I think it was so clear that when you think about where Elon Musk's head's at in terms of innovating, putting time in at Tesla, what products excite him, you know, where the future of the company is, there is so much focus um, on this Optimus robot project. I mean, it goes without saying that this is not just a cool science demo thing. Like Tesla is planning to bring this Optimus robot to market in a massive, massive way. So to dive into a little bit more of the details about that, um, Tesla at the shareholder meeting said they're going to be building a 1 million unit line production for Optimus robots starting in 2026, then a 10 million line unit production line after that, then a 100 million uh, production line after that. Eventually, Elon says they could potentially be making billions of Optimus robots, maybe even a billion a year, um, but he thinks there will be potentially tens of billions of these in the wild. We're talking one for every person personally, then maybe you know, three to five for every person in terms of industry. So there is just a huge amount going on here. Um, so, so Optimus is setting up to be uh, by far the largest product. I mean, if you think about something that the iPhone, maybe there's one for every person, uh, it's a thousand dollar device. I mean, that has created the world's largest company. We're talking about one to five for every person on earth for a humanoid robot um, and something that costs twenty to $50,000. So something that there's even more of that also is 20x more expensive. So, um, you know, when Elon, and he even says that this could potentially 10 times the entire size of the economy, Optimus. Um, and one of the other interesting things I thought he mentioned that, which is, you know, Tesla doesn't get enough love, I feel like, as a sort of humanitarian cause and mission, but... Uh, him discussing how Optimus is going to be everyone's doctor in the future um, and will really transform medical care and everyone will be able to have access to amazing medical care, which I think is such an amazing story and something that like personally hits home with me paying a ton of money for health insurance, never being able to get an appointment when I need it, always asking, you know, Grok or ChatGPT whenever I have a medical issue. So obviously, I think we all know where this is going, but I feel like it's super opti like it's kind of just exciting and inspiring to know that the healthcare system that's so broken might finally change. Um, and beyond that, even just poverty in general is something Elon mentioned in his talk about how, you know, if we can solve, if Optimus can solve the shortage of human labor, then we should be able to give everyone uh, a piece in this sustainable abundance future, which essentially means, you know, everyone can have housing, everyone can have food, um, everyone can live the life they want um, without really needing to work. And that's this crazy future for humanity. But at this, and at the same time, Tesla wants to be able to, you know, preserve the beautiful nature of Earth. So that is their new mission um, that Tesla is going now. It's not just transitioning the world to sustainable energy, which I would argue they've already kind of accomplished. The Model Y is the best selling electric car in the world. So I think, you know, now the mission is focusing on much more beyond that. So in many ways, that evolution of the mission is sort of an evolution of what Tesla's becoming now. And I mentioned the 1 million unit production line for Optimus coming in 2026. You know, it, this, is, this is big and it's coming fast. And there, Elon Musk mentions an annual release cycle for Optimus. So they haven't unveiled V3 yet. We've already seen 2.5, but they want to unveil Gen 3 in 2026. That's what they're going to build a million units a year of. Then Gen 4 in 2027, Gen 5 in 2028. So we're talking kind of like the iPhone of an annual update release cycle for Optimus that is starting to get kicked off next year. And this is my question to you. What is Tesla going to be doing? with all of these Optimus robots. They're building a production line for a million robots. That's a lot of robots. So starting next year, there could be thousands of these walking around the Tesla factory. Maybe they'll even start selling them or, or I don't know, having them employee homes or at maybe just in their own factories worldwide. But I think this is much bigger than a prototype now. You know, we're six months away from Tesla being in construction on a million unit robot line. So I think there's a lot of excitement there. Um, and this is coming a lot, a lot sooner than people realize.